Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Grace and peace from God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's wisdom will be coming from our, uh, 2 Timothy chapter number 1, verses 5 through 10. That's 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 5 through 10. Our theme is the finality, the finality. Uh, the finality is the state, quality, or facts of being final. Conclusiveness, decisiveness, or completion. Uh, we've been studying uh, Purpose Driven Life uh, for our Bible class and table talk for several months, and now we've finally come to the completion of it. Uh, but in our completion of it, it's not the uh, end of our Purpose Driven Life, but it literally the beginning of our Purpose Driven Life. As you recall, Jesus' final words to the church was the Great Commission. It was a not a commission for them to set idol, but it was a commission for them to get busy. In our text, we find uh, the Apostle Paul, who was a prisoner in Rome, was writing to his protege, Jay, his son in the ministry, uh, Timothy. He was given his final word as uh, death was imminent for the Apostle Paul. But he was given uh, uh, Timothy some final words. And of course, in verse number uh, five in our text, he talks about uh, Timothy, uh, faith, the evidence of his faith that was shown first in his grandmother Lois and his mother Eunice. And verse number six, he talks about the obedience of his faith. He says, listen, uh, the gift had been laid, put on you by the laying of the hand, and now it's time to stir up uh, up the gift. And then in verse number number seven through 10, he talks about the confidence of his faith. In verse number nine, he says, who had, who had saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his purpose and grace, which was wrought in us in Christ Jesus before the world began. If you notice, purpose preceded grace. God had already a plan and a purpose for our lives long before we were born into this earth. And of course, in our purpose-driven life, we discovered that there are five areas that God has, has purposed us. And that is number one, God uh, called us to be a member of his family. And of course, we have to be born again. Second, he talks about being in his family. Now he wants us to be a model of his character. That is, people ought to see Jesus being manifested throughout our life. And then thirdly, he wants us to be a magnifier of his glory. That is, we were created to worship and praise and bring honor to God. And then fourthly, he wants us to be a messenger of his grace. God had given us all a spiritual gift, and he wants us to use that gift to minister to the body of Christ. And finally, he made us a messenger of his gospel. That is, God wants us to go and evangelize and reach the laws through the gospel. So please join us uh, tonight for our Bible class and table talk at 715 Facebook Live, of course, Zoom teleconference and Zoom video conference for the finality. As always, may God bless you real good. May he smile upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. That's my prayer for you and your family today. I'm expecting great things because this is the year of expectancy.